Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Top Scholars. Today, we'll be discussing about carbon, a versatile element. So, friends, if I talk about carbon, the word carbon is derived from carbo, which means coal. Now, if I talk about the element carbon, we know that the symbol of carbon is capital C, right? That is the first letter. The atomic number of carbon is 6. So, its electronic configuration becomes 2,4, right? That is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So, the valency of carbon is 4, right? Because you can see that carbon has 4 valence electrons, right? So, in order to become stable, it needs 4 more electrons, right? So, we say that the valency of carbon is 4. Now, carbon is a non-metal, that is, it is non-metallic in nature. And this carbon can exist in the free state as well as in the combined state. Now, friends, we said that the electronic configuration of carbon is 2,4, right? Which means that carbon has 4 electrons in its outermost shell, right? So, in order to become stable, carbon needs 4 more electrons, right? And so, we say that the valency of carbon is 4. So, for becoming stable, that is, in order to complete its octet state to attain the noble gas configuration, it needs four more electrons, right? And thereby, carbon is said to be tetravalent. Tetravalent because the valency of carbon is four. Here, tetra stands for four and valent stands for valency, right? So, carbon is said to be tetravalent, which means that carbon can form four covalent bonds, right? As over here, you can see the formation of methane molecule, that is CH4, wherein we have one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms, right? So, here you can see that the carbon atom, since its valency is 4, it is tetravalent, it forms four covalent bonds. So, here you can see carbon forms four covalent bonds, right, with four hydrogen atoms, right? So, we have four carbon-hydrogen covalent bond for, that is formed over here, right? Now, friends, this carbon atom, other than forming covalent bond with hydrogen, it also forms bond with halogens, nitrogen, sulfur, as well as oxygen. Now, atoms of these elements are termed as heteroatoms. So, in order to satisfy its valency, in order to become stable, carbon not only forms bond with hydrogen, it also forms bond with atoms of these elements, that is halogens, nitrogen, sulfur and oxygen. Now, atoms of these elements are called as heteroatoms. So, carbon also forms covalent bonds with heteroatoms, resulting in the formation of a large variety of carbon compounds. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.